Secret Wars Battle World Preview coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has a winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at luckydicecafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Alright guys, so today is the day we are finally to spoiler season for the new Marvel Hero Clicks Secret Wars Battle World set. Uh, we're finally getting some previews for it, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at them. You guys let me know in the comments what your favorite figure is uh, from these previews. Really enjoy reading that stuff, so let's get this thing kicked off. Alright, so up first uh, we have Iron Fist number 64 in the set. Uh, she is a chase figure, it looks like. She is 75 points, has the Avengers, martial artist, and a past keywords, has improved movement, ignores characters, has a couple of traits and a special on her movement. Uh, her first uh, trait is called Before Martial Arts. Adjacent opposing characters can't use flurry, precision strike, combat reflexes, or close combat expert. Uh, that uh, making it so that opposing characters cannot use uh, precision strike is going to be really in handy, considering that she has uh, an 18 defense with super senses. Um, just really great there. Her other trait is called Ancient Incarnation. Iron Fist. When another friendly character named Iron Fist hits after resolution, remove an action token from this character. Um, so the nice thing is that uh, it can be any other character named Iron Fist. Um, so this is not a unique figure, so you're actually able to run two of them. So you'd be able to just keep tokens off of them, which is silly. Um, uh, and at only 75 points, that'd be half your build, which is pretty cool. The special on her movement is called the First Iron Fist, and it is Charge Flurry. If Iron Fist is adjacent to an opposing character, she can't become the target of ranged attacks. So that's really cool there. It really helps keep uh, some of the uh, trouble off her back there. Uh, starts off with a zero range, nine movement with that special, 12 attack with precision strike, 18 defense with uh super senses and indomitability and three damage for only 75 points this girl's bonkers i like her a lot i really hope i pull her um just really cool uh there and also just another thing too if uh, you guys really like this figure what i'm doing from now on on patreon once i hit the 50 dollars a month level the first figure that i pull from a set that is a prime or a chase figure uh, that will be that month's Patreon giveaway. So if you like this Iron Fist, um, make sure to stop on by at Patreon. I think I'm about $8 away from being at $50, which is when I give uh, this away. And this set drops in October, I believe October 17th. So we still have plenty of time to try to get that $7 in. Um, so every little bit helps. It really helps uh, support the channel. Um, and if you like this Iron Fist, that'd be for as little as a dollar, you can get yourself a chance to uh, get one. Next up, we have Spinneret, number 41 in the set. She is 65 points, has the Spider-Man family, uh, Spider-Man ally team ability. Uh, she has the Battle World Spider-Man family armor and celebrity keywords. Uh, she has improved movement, ignores uh, elevated and hindering. Uh, she has one trait and one special. Uh, her trait is modified regent tech. At the beginning of the turn, you may choose a friendly character named Spider-Man and a standard power that uh, he can use. If you do, until your next turn, that character can't use that power and Spinneret can use it. So really cool there, sort of a pseudo pick a power. And then uh, the other, uh, the special on her movement is Enraged Symbiote. Flurry Plasticity Spinneret automatically breaks away. Uh, she gets that on our last two clicks for 65 points. She has a four range single target. Uh, 9 movement with charge, 10 attack with precision strike, 17 defense with super senses, 3 damage uh, with nothing on it. I like her. Uh, nothing super broken or meta or anything about her, but that doesn't make her bad. Um, and she gets that special on the last two clicks, and she also gets shape change with it. So just a really a solid little figure. Um, I'd be happy to get my hands on one of these. Next up, we have number 54 in the set, Big Boss Hill. Uh, looks like she is a super rare, has the PD team ability, 85 points, has Eggs Guardian, Battle World Other, Police, and Ruler Keywords. Uh, she has two different specials. Uh, first one is on her movement. It is uh, a Dictator that Cares, a Sidestep, Hypersonic Speed, and Battle Fury, but only if a friendly character 
has been damaged by an opponent's attack since your last turn. It's a pretty cool there. Hypersonic speed, battle fury, uh, sidestep, all all good powers. Uh, not really so great because it's contingent on um, you know having somebody get hit, which is you know generally a bad thing, but still pretty solid. Uh, and then the special on her damage is called Baroness of Battle World. Leadership perplex when big bear uh, <clears throat> when big boss hill uses perplex to target another character you may instead modify a combat value except damage plus two if the target shares a battle world keyword or minus two if it has a different battle world keyword uh, so really cool there uh, looks like they're really starting to hand out a lot more uh, plus two perplexes which is neat uh, starts off with a six range uh, single target 10 attack or I'm sorry 10 movement with a special on uh, the movement there the flight ability 11 attack with super strength 18 defense with invincible and indomitability four damage with that special uh, overall she's okay not great um, probably a super rare I think I could probably live without but you know she's she's neat anyway so uh, let's look at the next figure all right up next we are taking a look at one of two prime figures we have to look at here number 37 b in the set captain marvel uh, she is 100 points has the avengers team ability has the avengers battle world spider island monster and soldier keywords uh, she has one trait and a special on her movement and defense. Uh, her trait is Living Vampire Steel Energy. Captain Marvel starts the game on click number three. When she uses Steel Energy, she may heal past her starting line. So we're looking at another wild dial again. Uh, so she really starts the game with a 10 movement with a special, 11 attack with Blades, Claws, Fang, 17 defense with Impervious, 3 damage, Exploit, Weakness. Uh, and then if you're able to heal her up two clicks to that top dial, uh, she has a 12 movement with hypersonic speed, 12 attack with uh, precision strike, 18 defense with invincible, 4 damage with prob. Uh, she has the flight ability and indomitability, so both reasonably solid. Uh, for 100 points, she's a little squishy starting off, but uh, that wild dial, uh, you know, she's definitely worth 100 points for that. Uh, she, her special on her movement is called Predatory Lust, Charge Plasticity. Um, I'm a big fan of plasticity nowadays, so uh, charge and plasticity is really cool. Um, shuts down other hypersonic figures from uh, running away. Just really solid there. And the special on her damage is called Feral Cunning. Combat Reflex is Toughness. So overall, she's not bad, um, but doesn't doesn't feel quite primey. This feels like this probably could have been a regular figure with just a wild dial, but still really solid. Um, I like her a lot. Um, I wouldn't be unhappy to get her, but I'm also not like, you know, dying to have her. Next up, we have the other prime we're taking a look at today, She-Hulk, number 23B in the set. Uh, she has two different starting lines, uh, 30 and 90 points. She has the Avengers, Battle World, Other, uh, Politician, and Ruler keywords. Uh, she has two, two traits and a special on her damage. Her first uh, trait is Baroness of Battle World. It's the exact same one as uh, Big Boss Hill. And then, uh, and, and I would just assume that pretty much all the Baronesses of Battle World are going to have basically the same thing. Um, so that's interesting that uh, they're going to be doing that. Uh, her other one is, uh, her other trait is Hunt the Traitor in A Force Plasticity. Adjacent opposing characters can't use Mastermind or Shape Change or Stealth. That's really cool. I, I like that one a lot. Uh, and then her special on her damage is called Welcome to Arcadia. It's pretty tight. Uh, empower Enhancement. So she's able to buff everybody around her uh, for damage. And uh, that's just really good. At 130 points, she has a zero ram range. Uh, 10 movement with charge. 11 attack with super strength. 19 defense with impervious and indomitability. 4 damage with that special. And then at 90 points, uh, she has... Uh, 8 movement with charge, 11 attack with super strength, 18 defense with invulnerability, 3 damage with that special. I actually like her at both. Um, I'm definitely probably would, would play her at 90 points more often, but I could see if I'm playing a fun game. Uh, definitely sporting her at uh, 130. Uh, I for sure like her better out of the two primes that we're seeing here today though.
Next up, we have Black Panther, number 61 in the set. Looks like he is another Chase figure. So again, uh, if you like this figure, stop on over to patreon.com slash MrClicksFlix uh, for your chance to uh, win the first Chase or Prime figure pulled. So if you like uh, that Iron Fist, if you like the Spider Island uh, Captain Marvel, you like the She-Hulk that we just looked at, or this Black Panther that we're going to look at, make sure to stop on over there uh, for just a dollar. Once we hit 50 bucks uh, a month, that will for sure be that month's giveaway. So that's going to be a real easy way for you guys to uh, get something and, and get it on the cheap. And I just, I like giving stuff uh, away to you guys. So this is a nice incentive for you guys to uh, stop on over to Patreon and, and a nice thank you also. Um, so he is uh, 250 and 150 points. It has the uh, Wakanda cosmic and ruler keyword, and I can't quite tell what that first keyword is, so we're just going to skip that. He has the power cosmic team ability uh, at 250 points, starts off with a seven range, uh, single target, 12 movement with hypersonic speed and the flight ability, 11 attack with precision strike, 18 defense with impervious, four damage with probability control. Uh, he has two traits and a special on his movement and his defense. His first trait is uh, No Time for Subtlety. Super Senses, Black Panther has Protected Pulse Wave. If Black Panther is 150 points, he is KO'd when he crosses the red KO line. At, two, at 150 points, you start off with a 12 movement with hypersonic speed and all that craziness. So for 150, this guy's worth it. That's crazy. Uh, also, I believe his... Um, that first keyword's Illuminati, now, the more that I'm looking at it. So this guy's really good. Um, if he has the Illuminati keyword, I will hunt this down. If I pull it and it's the chase I pull, I will hunt down a second one so that I can have it and somebody else can have the, the one that I pulled too. That's just wicked. His other trait is called Wielding the Gauntlet Free. If Black Panther is on click number one through six, turn Black Panther's dial to another click from one to six, noting his current click. If you do at the end of your turn, return him to the return him to the noted click. Uh, so if you're on click number two and you turn him to click number one, then you turn him to click number two at the end. If you're on click number one and you you know need to phasing up twelve and have some barrier, or you want some running shot pulse wave on click three, you just go to that, and then at the end of the turn you go to eight to uh, click one. So you're not really penalizing yourself, which is good. Uh, then on um, his uh, movement special, it's Ferocity of a Warrior King, Charge Flurry. Both of them fantastic powers, can't argue there. And uh, the special on his defense is Release the Dead to Turn the Tide. Stop. Combat Reflexes Toughness. When this click is first revealed, after resolution, generate two zombie warrior bystanders. Black Panther can't be healed. So he has three stop clicks in a row at the end of his dial at 250 points. Stop clicks are always good. And then uh, he also has that protected pulse wave. He has perma super senses. Uh, this guy's just bonkers. The more I'm looking at this, the more I need this. Uh, the zombie warriors, uh, they don't look too bad. Uh, five movement with sidestep, 10 attack with incapacitate, and that uh, autonomous uh, symbol so they don't count against your action total for the turn. Uh, 15 defense with toughness, 1 damage, Battle Fury. Overall, I love this guy. Um, I like him more than Iron Fist, and I, I really liked Iron Fist. I really hope I can pull at least... Well, I guess I'm going to need two of them if uh, you guys stop over at Patreon. But um, I, I really hope to get a hold of one of these guys. This, this guy's crazy. He's worth the price of admission just by himself. Next up, we have Captain Marvel, the non-prime, number 37A. Uh, 125 points has the Avengers team ability, has the Avengers Battle World Spider Island, Animal, Monster, and Soldier keywords. Uh, her one trait is Homo Arachnus, Plasticity, and Poison. And she has a special on her defense called Dog Fighting and Energy Absorption. Energy Shield Deflection, Super Senses. When Captain Marvel is hit by or evades a ranged attack, after resolution, heal her two clicks. So if you get hit by a ranged attack, no matter what, you're healing two clicks. If you're targeted by a ranged attack, you know that no matter what, you're healing two. So if they target you with one, you're actually healing one click. So that's pretty good. 125 points, uh, six move, uh, six range, single target. 12 attack with charge. I'm sorry, 12 movement with charge. Uh, flight ability, 11 attack with super strength. 18 defense with impervious. 
four damage with empower um i like this one better than the prime i think but still good they're both good um so i i do like this one and last up we have spider queen number 51 in the set she is a super rare comes in at 200 points has the battle world spider island animal monster past and ruler keywords has improved movement ignores elevated and hindering has two traits a special on her movement and a special on her defense uh her first trait is homo arachnus regena mastermind plasticity poison when spider queen ko's an opposing character after resolution heal her two clicks that's just awesome uh so really if you're able to ko someone there's no there's nothing bad that happens from your push or you just heal back so that's good there uh, she has another trait called baroness of battle world reads exactly as the other two baronesses did um and then she has a special on her movement called bow before your queen mind control running shot when spider queen uses mind control and hits after resolution uh give each hit character an action token so you're able to move them then attack and then you give them an action token that's awesome um and then her special on her defense is omega level threat stop invincible when this click is first revealed for the rest of the game spider queen has colossal damage symbol uh power cosmic and can't be healed past this click so that's really awesome uh she has a six range with dual target uh, so you're able to running shot and mind control two characters that's really cool um she has a that special to start off with on her movement with a 10 movement uh, 11 attack with pulse wave 18 defense with combat reflexes and four damage that's a really solid opening click um and then uh the click where she has that stop click she has an eight movement with sidestep 12 attack with blades claws fangs 19 defense with that special three damage with exploit weakness overall just a really fun figure not overall competitive um, but she's going to be good in sealed and for fun games I, I would expect her to be good real good in sealed all right guys so those are the previews we have for the upcoming marvel hero clicks secret wars battle world set um i'm really stoked about them you guys let me know what your favorite figure was in the comments below don't forget to stop on over at patreon.com slash mr if you want to get in on that chase giveaway when this set drops on october 17th if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up give it a share it really helps keep me motivated to make these videos that's all i have for you today as always please remember that it's only critical miss if you don't have probability control